edition of My Own World with Runny Lynn. I'm coming to you today about a Facebook ad I found. Go figure. <laughs> I found this um, lipstick called Boss Lady from the Lip Bar. And it's supposed to be universal. No matter what your complexion or your ethnicity is, it's supposed to be uh, perfect for you. It's like a universal vegan like um, lipstick. So I wanted to give it a try. I'm kind of 50-50 when it comes to red lips because, um, well, my husband loves my full lips. <laughs> and when I wear red lipstick, it turns them on. And so every now and again, I'll do a red lip. Depends on what we're doing and where we're going. But when I was younger, I used to get teased a lot for having full lips. And so... Um, I just don't want to do anything to bring more attention to my lips, which is why I wear lip gloss a lot because it's not, you know, just attention hoarding. And so <laughs> I rarely ever do a red lip, but when I do, my husband seems to be happy. So I've done a little makeup routine and um, I'm going to share that with you. It's really, really quick. I don't have like a lot of stuff that I do in the mornings um, just because I don't want to do it. Take too much time. And I don't really like stuff to take a long time. But let me find, let me show you the ad that I found on Facebook. Um, me and this iPad. So you see that? Best red lip, period. That's what they said. And we about to find out. <laughs> we about to find out. All right. So I'm excited. Let me get my little hairs in place. Okay, so for my um, makeup routine, it's really, really quick. I use my Fenty Beauty, uh, Beauty Primer, and I use my NARS foundation. I love these. I've been using NARS for about a year now, um, spelled N-A-R-S. I used to be a MAC girl for really, really, um, for years and years, and then my sister turned me on to NARS, and I love it. Um, one drop is supposed to um, cover your whole face. And it really does. I use a drop, maybe two, and I'm perfect to go. I use a really simple um, mascara. You can pick this up at Walmart anywhere. Um, and today I got on my flirty lashes. I love my moxie lashes. And so I have those on today. And usually the red lip I use is this CoverGirl red lip, but it's bright, bright red. So, you know, got to be in the mood for that. Um, I use a NARS concealer. I also got this from um, Sephora, and I believe it was $28. Don't quote me. 28 or 20 I can't remember. One or two. And the foundation is $49, if I didn't mention that before. And so for my gold shimmer, it's Fenty Beauty. This is actually a highlighter, but I use it as eyeshadow. <laughs> we do stuff like that. We do what we want, right? We're in my world. And then MAC, I used their setting spray. And this is a new one that came out. Um, I believe it's like some kind of passion fruit or something. So it smells good. It's supposed to smell good under your mask. Um, I don't know why. Who want to do that? I don't know. But anywho, that's my beauty routine in the morning. And that's what I do. I wrap my little hair, do my little routine, out the door. But not today. Because we're going to try this lipstick and see what they're talking about. Is it the best? Is it the best? We're going to see. So I got my little package in the mail today. I opened it. So you get the little lip bar thing from the paper. Like this. And like I told you before, when I was younger, I used to get teased for my full lips. And so to put some red lipstick on is like, <laughs> I try to avoid it. Um, like I said, my husband, he loves my, my full lips. So... Even with big lips, I was able to get me a husband, y'all. <laughs> and um, he likes it. He loves when I wear red lips. And so I'm going to see if he likes this. I do have to run a few errands. So this will be a part one and part two. Because I want to see if it um, gives the benefits that they see that it does. It's not supposed to come off on your mask. And it's supposed to be dry. And it's supposed to match your complexion perfectly. But we'll see. Okay. So, uh-oh. This is a twist top. looks like a gloss okay y'all y'all know how I feel about red gloss but we're gonna try okay
I got the most funny shade clips, y'all. So it'll take me a little minute to get it. Okay. Cool. It looks a little dark to me, but it's supposed to match my complexion perfectly. That's what they said. Okay, so I put that back in the box. So I got some errands to run today because you know I gotta cook for my husband. I gotta cook for him. Let me see what he say when he walk in the house and see these red lips. <laughs> will let you know <laughs> so this is a little black girl magic coming towards you um i can't wait to give you my review on how this is going to do for me um hmm, it's dry so it goes on like a gloss and it, it, it dries hmm, that's cool so we'll see uh, I'll be back with you shortly um, towards the end of the day. Let me go around, run my little errands, see how it does. If it comes off on my mask, that's probably going to piss me off a little bit because that's why a lot of people are not putting anything on their lips right now. It's because of uh, it coming off on the mask. It just defeats the whole purpose. But we'll see. Thank you guys for um, tuning in. I'll be back with part two just to let you know how to do. And if there's something you may want to order. It wasn't that expensive. I think it was like $15 or $17 in that ballpark. But <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. So I'll be back and let you know. Bye. Hi. Welcome back to part two of my lip bar review. I ordered Boss Lady which is a universal red lipstick. It is supposed to be um, good for all complexions and all ethnicities. And so I wanted to give that a try. Um, the ad kind of reeled me in. And so I wanted to try it and I did. And so today I wore the lipstick. I went around and ran my errands and I can say that I wore a mask. We're in this pandemic. So if you go in a public place, you have to wear a mask. And this was minimal transfer. I don't think that's too bad compared to some other things that I've seen. Um, so that was one good thing about it. Um, I think my main concern was it went on wet. But it dried really quickly. And it's been dry all day. And so that's a good thing. I like that. Um, one thing I can say is I didn't get the lipstick in the teeth um, type of thing. Um, it's funny when you see... Well, actually... That's not funny. But when you see people and they have lipstick in their teeth, it's awkward when you have to tell them because you don't want to walk around like that all day. So you got to tell them, but it's awkward. And so <laughs> I didn't have to deal with that today, which is another concern that I had. So that's a good thing. Um, Let me see. Was that my only concern? Yeah, would it stay on all day? How would we do with the mask? Um, my husband really loves me a red lipstick. And so I was waiting for him to get home just to see what he would say. And, uh, when he walked in the door and he was like, oh, babe, you're pretty. And so that's not the, um, reaction that I thought I was going to get. <laughs> I thought he was going to be like, oh, baby. I didn't get that. So I thought I was going to bless his soul tonight. So, but I don't know. Cause I'm just pretty. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. Don't take that to heart. Okay, forget that part. Anywho, uh, so Lip Bar is a good company. It seems like um, I'm happy with what I've, I've worn today. They do have a universal pink on their website, and I'm excited about trying it now just so I can have it in my makeup arsenal. Um, unless, I, you know, I may want to wear a pink one day. But it was really... Um, it wasn't bright, but it wasn't dark either. So I guess it, you know, it depends on your complexion. So I'm going to get it and try it. I don't have any complaints. Like I said before, you can go to lipbar.com. And I believe I paid, um, it was $14 and it was $17 with the shipping and um, all of that. And it took about a week to get here. And so for me, Lip Bar gets a thumbs up. I would recommend it. For you... I want to thank you again for tuning in to another edition of My Own World with Ronnie Lynn. Um, if there are some beauty products that you've seen and think you may want to try, um, but you don't want to spend the money, let me know and I'll see if I can get it and try it and let you know how it is before you spend your money. I don't mind doing that. Actually, I have fun doing that. <laughs> so just let me know you can reach out to me at my own world 
with Lynn at gmail.com. My email's so long, I almost forget it. It's my own world with Lynn at gmail.com. So you can email me anytime if you want to contact me and I will try your products or if there's another product, I will find it and try it for you. Until next time, I'm signing off with love and peace and I'll